good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are in Winnipeg. Yeah. Sun has finally popped out again. When we uh, left uh, Steinbach, it was actually snowing this morning. Yeah, we went to uh, dispatch office and uh, went and got our uh, passport set up for Diego. So that way they can set up the border crossing to... Uh, Across the border we're actually going to be leaving uh, tonight yeah we could actually leave tomorrow morning if we really wanted to but uh, uh, we decided we're going to leave tonight so that way it gives us a little bit of time to maybe a little shopping in the US yet maybe and uh, and uh, so that gives us a little extra time so we can do uh, shopping maybe and wash the truck yeah anyways we're on our way to uh, our friend's place here in Winnipeg and then uh, we'll see what we'll be able to show you later on today and here we are guys and gals we are off towards Kentucky that's right it's already about 5.37 in the afternoon right now. And we had us a good time at our friend's place, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. We went to uh, Winnipeg and visited with our uh, good friends down there. And uh, had some uh, chicken, fried chicken, right? Yep. Some chicken chef chicken. And some fries and some type of salad they have. Coleslaw, yeah? Yeah. That's right. So what did you do over there? Uh, we played pool. And uh, he showed me uh, a video about uh, Scott Sterling. It, it, was, uh, it, it was supposed to be funny. And to me, it was pretty funny. And... Uh, played uh, baseball in his backyard and so yeah I, I had fun there there you go yeah I'm hoping that you guys can see my uh, co-pilot in here today I think you should be able to but uh, then again you never know right yeah I, th I think I might be on the edge of the screen for the viewers yeah but, you might be yeah yeah I'm just gonna slow down there's this one big bump right here there we go yeah, so now we are off to actually Paris, Kentucky. That's where we're off to. We'll be doing a trailer switch there on uh, Wednesday morning, which will look, will work out perfectly for us. Then we can do a trailer switch up there. And then we can head towards Louisville, or we will be going to Louisville, Kentucky to the truck show. And we are very excited, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I thought, too. Yep. So what are you most excited about? Uh, most excited about is probably seeing the cool trucks there. I mean, I've seen, I've seen a couple of cool pictures on the calendar I had for 2015 um, with some cool trucks on there. But I mean, there's gonna be like I bet thousands of really cool trucks. Um, that's probably what I'm most excited for. Uh, I'm also excited to uh, see other YouTubers there. Uh, probably gonna be other YouTubers there, and we are probably gonna meet up with them. Uh, and I'm also sort of curious to see if maybe by some chance that uh, some of my dad's subscribers may uh, be there and we may see them and we may meet them and do something special with them so I'm sort of curious to see if that might happen I mean we from what I know of we're not planning to come together with any subscribers but we never know I mean people that subscribe to my dad's show probably like Chuck so they might go there so yeah yeah that's right yeah, I know a few sub YouTubers are going to be there and we'll definitely meet up with a few of them, that's for sure. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting time. I bet it's going to be. Uh, yeah. 
just too bad that my AC is still not working because we were looking at the forecast there today and it's supposed to be 24 degrees Celsius over there so that's quite warm I'm kind of hoping it's going to be a little cooler when we're over there well actually when we're over there it doesn't really matter because we have the APU unit as long as that system works we will be good to go oh, yeah. that, uh, that thing does have air conditioning and it does still work as far as I know last time I tried it it still worked so uh, which was only a couple of weeks ago yeah a couple of weeks ago no actually it was last week last week yeah when I was up there in uh, Madison had Alberta that's when I tested it it was starting to get a little warm in the cab and uh, I turned it on it worked perfectly for me so uh, I'm sure it will still be working Hopefully, anyways, as long as we're at the truck show uh, and that system works, then we'll be fine. But it's when we get back on the road, it's when we uh, will be struggling with AC, I guess, if it gets quite warm. But uh, other than that, yeah, we picked up our uh, loaded trailer here in the yard. We filled up, we're all loaded, ready to go got our uh, beef ribs so we'll be doing some cookouts over there and I'm excited for that yeah so we will be getting the barbecue grill here on the road at the Walmart uh, we'll do a little more shopping there we were going to do a little bit of shopping in Winnipeg today but the stores were closed I guess because of Eastern like Superstore Walmart's both of them on region they were closed so we couldn't do any shopping up there so I guess we'll have no choice other than to go shopping in uh, Walmart in the United States somewhere. I hope the one that we go to will have a grill. I really hope so. I mean it is officially spring, right? So we could be... Uh, we should be seeing them in the, in the Walmart. So uh, yeah. Anything else you would like to add? We did go, we tried going shopping in Winnipeg just to make sure because he said regional uh, area there or whatever and we don't have, I don't think we have that in Stymac so for people who are in Winnipeg this, if that confused me a little bit, we were talking about Winnipeg so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Steinbach never has Superstore or Walmart open on Sunday, but uh, that's just because of the Mennonite or, or Christian beliefs up there in uh, Steinbach. They don't want the stores to be open, but yet they will go to Winnipeg and shop on the Sunday. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh well, that's another topic to discuss on another day, but we won't get into that too much. But yeah. It's been a gorgeous day, nice and sunny all day long, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah, this this morning it was cloudy and there wasn't really any sun. Yeah, it was it, actually snowing when we left to go to Winnipeg. Yeah, Bay. yeah, it started lightly snowing and then it started really snowing. And, uh, and then we left uh, Steinbeck and then once we got in Winnipeg there was no no clouds at all and it was all sunny and then yeah. when, when, we went, when we were down we are leaving our friends then, then uh, it was cloudy and uh, had moved into Winnipeg and then we came here and it was only partially cloudy so there you go so yeah we'll be at the border here probably uh, in about an hour and then we'll be in the United States already we'll be crossing Roseau uh, border today Roseau Minnesota yeah I don't know how far we're going to get tonight but uh, We'll probably go to that first little truck stop and see if there's parking there. I know that's a tiny, tiny little bit of a truck stop there and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get us a parking spot in there. If not, we will have no other choice but to continue on to uh, Swan River. And that's another three hours down the road from there, but uh, that's okay, I guess. We'll just continue on cruising along, that's all. I feel great. Oh, I'm very happy. Yeah, we had a good night's sleep. Yeah, mine was okay. Yeah, so the uh, wife is very sad that 
the son and the guy, the man is leaving the house for a week, or actually will be gone over a week. Yeah, nine days, roughly. Pretty much, or even maybe ten days, depending on when we get out of there. Yeah. I kind of doubt it that we'll get a load on Sunday, because on Sunday the truck show is done with already. So uh, I'm not too sure if we'll get a get a load on Sunday, but uh, whatever, it doesn't really matter to us. I'm okay with staying there till uh, till Monday. Enjoy uh, all the people there. And yeah, it's it's isn't it like supposed to like be like in the twenties and some on some some days there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that that would be very nice. It will be very nice. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, we're very much looking forward to having us a good time over there, having some great cookouts. We're going to be cooking. Uh, some barbecue, we are going to be cooking some stew and all that stuff, so uh, we're very super, super excited. Yeah, but uh, like even even without like like having my mom look sad when we were leaving, I knew she was going to be sad right away because yeah, yeah, because because uh, because when I want to go to a friend's place for a sleepover and like just myself alone and and then then she doesn't want me to leave mainly because she's gonna feel too lonely and so she really hates me like lonely yeah so, I, I bet I bet she's oh gonna boy this four wheeler is cutting real close look at that yeah look at this guys wow that's terrible yikes that was not a safe move that that four wheeler just made there but uh, some people just have no patience you know yeah they just gotta pass us but yeah, before when we were driving to Winnipeg, two guys were flying past us. It was crazy. Yeah. Anyways, we'll continue cruising along here and uh, we'll see what we will be able to show you today. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are now officially in the United States of America. If we have no more hiccups, problems I'm referring to, we shall be able to make it to Louisville, right? Yeah. Yeah, we already had one problem today, right? Yeah. You want to tell them what the problem was? Uh, well, the battery thing was flashing up on the dashboard over there. And, uh, Dad wasn't sure what it was, and uh, he thought it was probably a loose cable, and uh, we checked, and the uh, boss was right. It was a loose cable. And uh, he tightened it, and... Uh, we're all good, so it stopped blinking now. I mean, we haven't gone very far after it. Uh, I tightened it up, but uh, I'm pretty sure it should be fixed now. Is uh, I checked the cables there by the battery, and they were all good. So I knew it could only be probably one or two other things. Could either be either be a broken wire somewhere. Or it could be a, a loose wire somewhere and the only other place I could think of at the moment was by the alternator and the alternator has got pretty much three cables one is ground one is power and the other one is a really thin cable that's attached to the alternator and it basically goes to the sensor letting the computer know that the uh, charger is actually working and it's testing it to make sure it's not overcharging and all of that fine stuff and so that little wire that's connected right there to the alternator i found was actually loose so i took my uh branches out of my side box luckily we always do carry some for emergency cases like these and me being a handyman <laughs> yeah we were able to fix it at least i think i haven't seen it flash one more time yet so uh i guess we're good i guess only time will tell i guess pretty soon i could apply for a mechanic job <laughs> i could probably fix a whole bunch of stuff myself but yeah the sun is starting to go down but well, we're not going down yet. <laughs> no. Yeah, so far we're still able to cruise on down the road. Yeah. No, one thing we will have to figure out if we're gonna have to get my son uh, son's passport to sign or not. 
is apparently there is a little confliction on that. Canada says under 16 they're not required to sign the passport. Even my dispatch was saying that this morning he should sign his passport. And I said, well, as far as I knew, under a certain age, people didn't need to sign it. So she checked it on the internet. She said, yeah, you're right. She says, in Canada, you're only required to sign your passport if you are older than 16. Under 16 is not required. So, uh, but apparently the United States has a bit of a different thinking on it. Basically, their thinking behind it is if it says sign and you got a passport, they kind of want you to sign it. Which I don't know. The Canadian law says we don't have to, but when we come to the US, they want us to sign it. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll have to get them to sign it anyways just to get the hassle out of the way, right? Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, on our way back, We'll be uh, coming back to the uh, Canada, and they don't really require it, so uh, we may not have a problem. <laughs> but then again, if they give us a hassle too, then uh, then we'll get it signed, right? Yeah, for sure. But uh, other than that, yeah, that's basically uh, what it comes down to. What is that? Is that drizzle on the windshield there? Almost looks like yeah. a few drizzles coming down. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh well, that's okay, I guess. We much rather take rain than snow anyways, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. I mean, it's plus seven degrees right now, according to my truck. So it's not that cold. Yeah, it is just like more is coming. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. I was outside with, it, uh, with no jacket and it's comfortable, no problem. So uh, anyways, we are... Just about to come up to Rosua, Minnesota that is, of course. So now we are putting the hammer down and uh, I don't think we'll be going too far tonight, but uh, then again we'll see. The GPS is wanting me to go a different route anyway, so uh, once we make this turn up here in Rosua, it's gonna recalculate and then we'll see what the mileage will be at that time but uh, honestly we have nothing in a hurry I mean we pretty much have more than two days to go yet I mean we got all day tomorrow all day Tuesday and then we got till 10 o'clock on Wednesday to deliver this and even if we took the long route according to Rand McNally it says we still have uh, 1224 miles to go and that I believe he's roading me towards I-29 which I'm not going to do that's probably two hours more so I'm not going to add that extra two two and a half hours onto the onto the speedometer no. so we're going to take the back roads up here we got about an hour and 15 minutes to uh, our next truck stop and that's a really 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 tiny truck stop so if we can find a parking spot in there, then that's as far as we'll go. But if we can't, then we have to go another three hours to get to the next truck stop. And then we will be stopping no matter what. <laughs> that's a fairly fairly uh, decent sized truck stop anyways for uh, out here on the back road. So uh, there's not much traffic up here. So I think we should be fine on that truck stop anyways. But uh, yeah. So far that uh, battery light hasn't come on yet, so we're, uh, I think we're in the good. <laughs> yeah. So what do you say, son? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. I, I, I'm going to be excited to uh, first light and uh, the truck. Cause, yeah. Because uh, my bed has, uh, I don't know, what kind of metal but a metal frame and then it has two mattresses on it and um, I don't know why but uh, one corner the wheel has I mean the metal has like 
nice feeling on my body. So I, I will be very happy when I, when I can feel a, a nice bed. Yeah. So. Yeah. But I guess that drizzle was just one time and that's it. Disappeared right away. Yeah, pretty much all the snow was gone too. I mean, we got a little bit of ice and snow there in the ditch and maybe around the edges of the tree line over Let's there, but pretty much ahead. that's it. Yeah. That is pretty much it. Well, I guess we'll get out of here. Third Street. And then, uh, I guess we'll see you guys all a little bit later. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the today's video i suppose or not all the way yet we gotta still put in our closure right yeah yeah so so far so good after we install that wire or tighten up that wire no more problems so we are happy 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 oh yeah that's right and uh yeah, so we are looking forward to continue on with our journey tomorrow. So I figured, well, we'll uh, get to editing these videos together for you guys. So that way uh, it's ready to go. If we all of a sudden do have some internet somewhere, then uh, we'll try and upload these videos. I know it's going to be a little difficult this week with uploading the videos since we are going to be over a week in the United States so uh, it's gonna be a little challenging but we'll try and figure something out and uh, you got something to say no not really okay well I guess then we will go uh, finish our video we'll put a uh, files in our computer and we'll render it and uh, we'll see about uploading it I guess at a later date but I'm kind of curious to see if that camera that we had right up here was able to see him and and stuff like that so we're going to investigate that uh -huh. and uh, if we don't see him maybe we'll have to do some adjustments we'll have to see yeah but uh, anyways i appreciate you guys enjoying my little short vlog today or whatever you want to call it little video today and uh, we got us uh, quite of an adventure going on oh, this yeah. week so mm -hmm. Stick around for that. We'll catch you again tomorrow right here. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.